Welcome to SCTV News, this is Shibala Alam with our headlines. Hundreds of holiday makers are returning to Dhaka after enjoying the Eid holidays without facing any hassle on the roads. Today is the third death anniversary of former President H.M. Irshad. He contributed to the development of every sector, said the managing director of SA Group. Sri Lankan President Gotabaya Rajapaksha has left the Maldives on a Saudi Airlines flight bound for Singapore. Busy people have started returning to the capital again. However, this time there is not much traffic jam on the roads. Bus and train passengers said that everyone is able to return to Dhaka with a lot of relief. But many complained about train schedule disruptions and extra bus fares. Meanwhile, at the end of the Eid holidays, the Shadur Ghat launch terminal in Dhaka has returned to its former glory. The Ghat area became bustling with passengers from dawn. Many get off at the dock and go straight to work. Passengers are happy to return safely as there is no traffic jam on the way. Today is the third death anniversary of former president and founding chairman of Jatiya Party, Pulli Bondhu, Hussein Mohammad Irshad. On the death anniversary, Salahuddin Ahmed, managing director of SA Group of Companies, spoke about various aspects of the life of development legend Pulli Bundhu Irshad. He said Irshad's contribution in building a modern Bangladesh is well known. He said Irshad has a touch in the development of bridges, roads and highways across the country. Salahuddin Ahmed claimed that the unique role of the former president in dealing with the 1988 floods will remain in the hearts of the people of the country. Meeting with foreigners will not benefit the BNP, said the Minister of Agriculture. Abdul Razak, the United States, will not be able to influence the elections in Bangladesh and the caretaker government will not come again, he added. The minister said this at a function at the Secretariat. Meanwhile, EU Ambassador Charles Whitley met with local government minister Tajul Islam. Later, the minister said that it was disrespectful for the country to talk about the elections to outsiders. On the other hand, ongoing high Commissioner of India Vikram Kumar Durai Swami paid a courtesy call on road transport and bridges minister Ubaidul Kader at the Secretariat after Eid. The ongoing mild heat wave is likely to continue in different parts of the country, said the Bangladesh Meteorological Department today. Mild heat wave is sweeping over Rajshahi and Silid divisions and the district of Dhaka, Tangail, Rongpur, Dinajpur and Nilfamari and it may continue, said the Met Bulletin. Country's maximum temperature on Wednesday was recorded 38.2 degrees Celsius at Rajshahi, while the minimum temperature today was recorded 25 degrees Celsius at Hatia. Rain or thunder showers with intense lightning flashes and temporary gusty or squally wind is likely to occur in a few places. We are taking a short break. Please stay with us. Welcome back, you're watching SATV News. Now news from abroad. Sri Lankan President Gotabaya Rajapakshi has left the Maldives on a Saudi Airlines flight bound for Singapore, sources said. The President had fled to the Maldives a day earlier and made a mass protest over Sri Lanka's economic crisis. It is not clear if Mr. Rajapakshi will stay in Singapore or whether he will use it as a layover destination. He had previously pledged to resign but has failed to submit a formal resignation so far. Sri Lanka's Prime Minister Ranil Wekramengse has told the military to do whatever is necessary to restore order after protesters stormed his office on Wednesday. Not yet occupied by protesters. Former Chancellor Rishi Sunak has won the first round of voting by MPs to choose the next Conservative leader and Prime Minister. He got 88 votes with Trade Minister Penny Mordaunt in second place on 67 and Foreign Secretary Lee Truss third on 50. Chancellor Nadim Zahawi and former Health Secretary Jeremy Hunt were eliminated from the race. Those still in the contest face another round of voting on Thursday. The field is expected 
expected to be narrowed by two by the end of next week and then around 1,60,000 Tory members decide which candidate they want to become the next party leader and prime minister. The result will be announced on 5th September. U.S. President Joe Biden and Israeli Prime Minister Yair Lapid will sign a joint pledge to deny Iran's nuclear weapons on Thursday, closing ranks after long-running disputes between the allies over global diplomacy with Tehran. Biden, who is visiting Jerusalem, said on Wednesday he was open to last resort use of force against Iran, an apparent move towards accommodating Lapid's call on world powers to present a credible military threat against Israel's ARC-4. The United States and Israel have separately made such a veiled threats against Iran, which denies seeking nuclear weaponry for years. Before ending, we go through the headlines again. Hundreds of holidaymakers are returning to Dhaka after enjoying the Eid holidays without facing any hassle on the roads. Today is the third death anniversary of former President H.M. Ishad. He contributed to the development of every sector, said the managing director of SA Group. <music> Sri Lankan President Gotabaya Rajapakshi has left the Maldives on the Saudi Airlines fight bound on Singapore. <music> You're up to date so far here on SATV News. And to know the latest news, visit www.satv.tv. Stay with SATV.